Good evening and thank you for joining us at Western Mass News at 10 o'clock. I'm Sarah Grinelli. Crews responded to a house fire in Springfield for a fire today. The arson and bomb squad says the cause of the fire was from a grill that was too close to the garage. And now officials are warning about the usage of outdoor grills. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane is live in studio with more. Lindsay. Sarah, Captain Drew Pimonti of the Springfield Fire Department tells me that grills should always be a minimum of 10 feet from a house in order to prevent a fire. It was uh, too close to the garage and they were uh, rotisserie and a pig and heat from the grill was, uh, caught the garage on fire. A structure fire in Springfield on Sunday morning stemmed from a cookout gone wrong. The arson and bomb squad says the cause of the fire on Pembroke Street was from a grill that was too close to the garage, causing it to catch flames. Captain Drew Pamonte of the Springfield Fire Department tells Western Mass News that there were no injuries reported, but this wasn't the first grill fire they've responded to this summer. Most uh, common ones are grease built up under the bottom in the trap, and then the grease, when the grease is dripping, it drips down onto the tank, and then it starts burning off. He says it's important to know some grill safety tips before your next barbecue. Make sure all the connections are tight for uh, your propane tanks and all your connections going from there to the burner assemblies. Uh, maintenance is, is uh, big to keep them clean from uh, grease buildup and uh, uh, food deposits in, uh, in the bottom trays and all that where the grease traps are. Pamonte says you should always keep your grill a minimum of 10 feet from the house and never leave it unattended. If you smell propane, don't light the grill. Make sure your kids and pets are away from the grill at all times and always have a fire extinguisher handy. He also says grill maintenance is key. Check for leaks. You know, you can do that by checking your uh, connections by spraying a uh, soap and water solution on them. And if it bubbles, uh, that means that the uh, propane tank's leaking and there's not a good seal. So either have it serviced by a professional or, or replace the parts as needed. Pimonti says there's no estimated cost on the damage as of now. And again, there were no injuries reported. Live in studio, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.